today I have two same cars, but they are different because this is 2019 Toyota Camry LE in white color and this it's 2024 Toyota Camry LE in ice edge color. And what's the difference between those cars? We're gonna find out right now, but it is a legendary car because the Camry, I think it's a favorite uh, car of the whole Toyota industry because people love them. I mean, they sell them left and right and there is a lot of people who drive it, who wanna buy it. And it's not only United States, everywhere, Dubai, uh, Europe, Australia, you name it, all the countries, they love Toyota, especially Camry. Why the Camry is so popular? Because it's spacious, it's a great car, it's never gonna break down, it is super reliable, and this car has over a little bit over 100,000 miles right now, and this one, brand new, it has only 2,000 miles on it currently, but they both drive in exactly the same way. They do have some wear and tear, uh, uh, usage on this one actually but in general the car itself it's great I mean the transmission working perfectly engine not making any sounds and it's exactly the same engine exactly the same car but why they keep producing the same car since 2018 when the first body came out this body and now 2024 they have exactly the same car and it's not so many difference on this like the i'm gonna show it to you inside the car but outside look at this all the same headlights bumper all the style the same the wheels uh design of the wheels they change it a little bit because obviously it is a new year they have to change something but this car is so great it probably gonna do other hundred thousand miles with any problem if the oil change gonna be uh done regularly and maybe like brake pots or some any other uh, maintenance items but in general it's super reliable car that's why they love it so much and we're going to talk about prices for the new one and for the used one because it's insanely not depreciating almost at all because the used one if you're going to find with low mileage they're going to be about the same price as you can buy the new one right now that's super crazy let's go 2019 Camry LE it is a simple easy to use and super reliable car like I say but there is some options on this car already included even this car it's only LE I know there is used to be Camry L but I cannot remember it was so many on the West Coast because again there is a East Coast and West Coast and they do have a little bit different market. Why? I have no idea. So for example Camry L you might gonna find on the East Coast but on the West Coast nobody wanna buy L. But this LE comes with L rims not the hubcaps but if you're gonna get the Camry hybrid LE it's gonna be hubcaps on it not the L rims. What this car has right now 2019 Camry LE it's the cheapest one the one was available on the market uh, in Los Angeles back in the days. We do have a line keeper assistance on this car we have an emergency braking system and Distronic Plus so basically this car has a radar and it's gonna stop itself or it's gonna keep the distance in front of the car when you're driving in the traffic or on the freeway that's crazy I mean for the simple car for the simple Toyota Camry we do have those options it is a regular key it's not the push start button and 2024 2019 they have exactly the same keys there is nothing nothing different on that so why this car is so popular because number one it's not that expensive number two it's super spacious it's honestly it's a huge car on the top of that we do have a great mpg on this car it's you're gonna get about 28 30 mpg whatever google saying and this car has 203 horsepower so that's more than enough for four cylinder engine the transmission it's not cvt if you get in the camry hybrid it's going to be cvt transmission but this one just a regular automatic transmission and i know some people they are experiencing problem with transmissions but i think most of the time it's a driver fault it's not the car fault because this one has original engine has original transmission and have zero problems and like I say it has over 100,000 miles right now for 2019 that's insane so basically this car being used for uh, rental purposes I think on the history on the Carfax history it says that but other than that no problem at all and it's super popular everywhere used Toyota Camry it's always on demand for example this 2019 Camry with that over 100,000 miles right now on the market is gonna 
go for about 15, 16,000. If you want to get the same cars about the same year LE, and it's going to be low mileage, like 20, 30,000, you're probably going to pay about 22, 25. That's crazy because brand new one, you can buy it for 27, 28. So it's not the big difference on the price. Means this car, appreciating the value it's not depreciating a lot and most of the time when you get a new toyota any of toyota and after three years of lease you always can sell it with profit so the owners of the other brand like mercedes or bmw they cannot tell you the same and at the end of the lease they have to pay more but this car it just insanely cool <laughs> So 2024 Camry LE got new color. I think it got available back in 2023 or 2022 that called Ice Edge. That's about the, between the silver and white. It's a nice color. I like it because it is something different. And the Cyan, they used to do those kind of weird colors back in the days on the TC Coupe. But I think Camry looks really good in this color. So what you can see the difference not much right so the size of the car exactly the same all the doors handles mirrors they exactly the same bumpers headlights tail lights everything the same just the design of the wheels the l rims they are the different little bit so for the newer car they put newer rims but other than that it's just crazy why they keeping it uh so long the same exact car and they use an exact same parts it's simple answer because the car itself it's on high demand it's always selling it doesn't matter what and it's always selling everywhere any other state any other country they want to buy the Camry why they want to buy it because the people demanding to get one of that and if the price is going to be right they're going to buy it right away there is a lot of those companies right now available everywhere in los angeles probably because the new one 2025 is coming and a lot of people been waiting for 2024 the new body style going to come but no because they produce so many of those companies right now and the price for this 2024 company le like i say it's uh the msrp for this car about 27 thousand eight hundred twenty seven nine hundred something like that and the 2019 low mileage is going to be about 24 uh 22 25 thousand so that's like that's about the same that's crazy i mean the price for the five years old car and price for the new car they close to each other isn't great it's super great if you have the car like that means you're driving it you're making payment for that or you already pay it off and you have a title you're driving it and you're making money you're not losing money when you're driving Camry that's that's the cool point I think one of the coolest for the Toyota industry and you know what's cool about the Camry about any Toyota everybody gonna find their own point why they got this car and why they love it so much I think Camry that's one of the car one of the Toyota because it's a spacious it is super practical <clears throat> it's super practical so basically for me as a driver it is convenient I have a 2831 MPG means I'm not gonna spend a lot of money for the gas it's not the Prius but same time I'm not spending money on the gas that's one of the coolest point for Toyota but same time this car is so spacious inside I can drop the back seats I think it's a 60 40 and I'm gonna have a lot of space from the trunk all the way to my interior so I can pull a lot of stuff and move it if I have to other than that five people gonna be easy uh, to sit inside if you want to put the child seats I mean child seats yeah and put your kids on the back two three kids doesn't matter it's fine if you're gonna take it on a long trip on the freeway Camry that's uh, one of the I would say one of the best car ever to drive but what I don't like personally about the Camry I don't like the driver's seat I don't know why because maybe because of the, the uh, my back support it's not enough in this car but after like period of time maybe 40 minutes of driving this car I'm getting a little bit tired but other than that there is no problem at all and I love the Camry why not it's a good price it's a great car it's never gonna give me a problem never gonna give you a problem and same time it's cool to have it and sell it after a period of time for about the same price isn't great it's super great so 2019 Camry what's going on inside the dashboard it's pretty simple I mean those materials like I say they're all soft they're not making noise while you're driving it and it is comfortable car so there is a cup holders there is a lot of different pockets so we have a USB cable aux cable and the charging port 
So the multimedia on this car, it's simple to use, but only problem with this multimedia, in my opinion, from my experience, that's the screen itself. So basically it's kinda, it's kinda whitish, I would say. And I was thinking maybe this car is kinda old or it has mileage. No, 2019, 2020, they all kinda same. It's a whitish and looks like this, uh, this glass, the top glass, for some reason is changing the color or i'm not sure so when it's uh, really sunny outside it's hard to see sometimes even if you're doing the brightness for the screen itself higher it's not gonna help unfortunately so this car doesn't have a climate control it's just a regular but other than that like i say it is super simple car it's easy to use there is a lot of space for me for the passenger on the front and for the passengers on the back the steering wheel basically it's full i have uh, all the buttons available and there is a line keeper there is a cruise control and distronic plus or emergency braking system whatever you're gonna call it and on the top of that Camry has auto high beam so basically there is a sensor it's gonna read if somebody driving uh, in front of you like facing forward you with headlights it's gonna turn off the high beam and if there is nobody uh, in front of you facing you with headlights it's gonna turn on the high beam that's really cool because sometimes a lot of people driving on the high beam they forgetting to turn it off and it's super annoying so but Camry went ahead and did that option for this Camry and one of the more important and kind of interesting questions so this car being assembled here in the United States in Kentucky and there is only three plants who are doing Camry and I think Corolla there is one in China one in Japan and one in Kentucky in 2018 the eighth generation of the Camry they start selling everywhere there is a Europe there is a Mexico there is Australia there is a Canada US uh what else the thailand europe and i say mexico already right so it's super popular and eight generation Camry, i think it become more popular because for somehow for some reason they start selling it everywhere or they might start producing it in china and china start exporting those cars in other countries and how you can recognize if this car been assembled in japan or in the united states simply by VIN number so if your VIN number start from number like this car or that car start from number four means this car assembled in the united states if your VIN number gonna start from J is a Japan, means your car assembled in Japan. It's a simple kind of information, but you can use it, you can check your car if you have any Toyota or maybe any other brand. So most of the time, all the brands, they do have that policy. If it starts from number, means the car assembled in United States. You are welcome. So 2024 Camry LE, what's the difference? Five years of difference for the car itself, but did they do some improvements on it or not? I think not so many. Number one, the best thing they did, they changed the mid screen. And right now it's a new type multimedia, the one they using for all other cars, the Priuses and the Corolla, Corolla Cross, and you name it all other cars they are using exactly the same screen for the toyota so now they do have a climate control and i think it's the last year of the same body and i believe they doing climate control 2023 they used to have a climate control not uh, switches and 2024 2022 le used to be i think climate control so maybe 2019 they did just the switches not the climate control fully and after like last two three years they do in climate control but it's cool other than that steering wheel exactly the same exactly the same functions and the buttons we have here but what we got we got the eco mode normal and the sport mode for the transmission it's not gonna make a lot of difference when you're driving the car only eco mode gonna save you a little bit more gas and probably in the city uh besides getting the 28 mpg what it says uh you might gonna get 30 but your performance gonna go down significantly and ac not gonna blow the same way so what else they did there is exactly the same usb port in the middle and the charging port right next to it there is no aux cable anymore what they added right here in the armrest compartment they put 
USB charger and next to it USB-C charger outlet. That's pretty much it. I mean, same material as the steering wheel, it's not the leather and there is not so many leather pieces. I believe none of them, maybe just a shifter. It has a, a artificial leather, but that's it. The seats are the same material and the plastic dashboard exactly the same, nothing changed. So why they supposed to change something if the car is selling good if it's always on demand and the prices for this car never going down so much just simply because people love it because i love this car as a just regular daily driving it's super nice it is easy to use and like i say it's super reliable saving tons of money for the maintenance and the gas it's a good choice if you have one like that or you want to buy one like that just put your comments below say it is a good car and you are agree with me or you might disagree and you like bmw or mercedes i appreciate that also that's always like i saying it's always your choice it's only my opinion and the cars i'm reviewing thank you so much